I've been watching and enjoying Battle for Bikini Bottom speedruns for years. The history of the game is astounding and the game's top player, Shift, took the game and its community to new heights. Therefore, when Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated was announced last year, I couldn't wait to see what was to come of it. That being said, with the virus that 2020 has been plagued with and most likely Nickelodeon rushing the development, Rehydrated seems to be filled with bugs. While it's still an enjoyable game, there are several clear issues. But who would have guessed that one of those issues would be a glitch where you can warp to the final boss fight in less than 10 seconds of starting the game. Here's how you can do it. You can connect a controller to your computer so you can use both your keyboard and controller to control the game. Then you can pause the game, press on Bikini Bottom to open its menu, go over to Chum Bucket Labs, and press your spacebar and A on the controller at the same time and you will be warped straight to the final boss. This is most likely because you're able to warp to Bikini Bottom, so the game likely sets a trigger that lets you do this. If you then press space and A at the same time over to a different area, the game isn't able to update in time and make sure you can't warp to that new area. This took me literally less than a minute to get and understand for the first time, which is a really big difference to similar wrong warps like Ocarina of Times. There are also some really cool strategies for defeating the boss and I definitely recommend watching the world record speedrun, but here you are seeing my second time ever trying to complete this and I think I did pretty respectably. Now while it may seem appealing to have a speedrun this short, I would actually say it's the opposite. Sure, it looks good on paper and may be fun for a few days, but the appeal will not last long. This is completely different to the original BFBB's Any% percent Run which has gone through insane transformations over the years and is one of the greatest speed games in my opinion. This run just doesn't have the same amount of hype and it won't last as long. Also, because the execution is relatively easy, I don't know how much you can push it. After all, at the time of this recording, the speedrun is already less than 2 minutes and 30 seconds long. It seems the community will make this speedrun its own category and have a 77 spatula category, which I completely agree with. A question that arises though is should you be able to warp here at the beginning of the game to get the cruise bubble and bubble ball and then warp back, or should this technique simply be banned? I personally like the first option as speedrunners could then cut out the other lengthy boss fights, but I guess that's up to the community. The last question we need to ask though is will this even stay in the game? The developers of Rehydrated have stated that they will not remove any glitches that only affect speedruns and don't affect casual players. However, this just seems too big to ignore. Honestly, this glitch seems a little embarrassing to have in your game, but we're gonna have to see what happens. Either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I also definitely recommend checking out BFBB's Any% percent documentary series by Shift, as the videos are very well produced and tell an amazing story. Also, make sure you subscribe as I put out all kinds of speedrunning videos on many different games. Alright, enough shilling now, bye.